Hello, what's up? Ali here, and today we are going to inject games on our jailbroken PS3. So that is actually this game injection. Well, a game injection is a game format where the games are placed on the cross media board or just on the main menu of the PS3. So with this, you don't have to go to Multiman or any other game uh, managers, and you don't have also to go through Webman just to locate your games. All you have to do is uh, start up your PS3, and you'll be able to access your games. Also, with game injection, you don't have uh, to activate any homebrew. So in case uh, you're just uh, using Hen, you don't have, you no longer need uh, to activate Hen. All you have to do is uh, boot up your PS3 and uh, just pick your games. But uh, there are still some limitations with this because uh, not all games can be converted to injection. And uh, you still have uh, to jailbreak or activate your homebrew before you'll be able to inject your games. But once other uh, games have, have been injected, um, you don't have to activate anything. All you have to do is uh, start up your PS3 and uh, look at your games or choose your games. So let us go ahead with our video and uh, start with uh, downloading all of the files that we are going to need. For the database rebuilder, just open the link and uh, download the file and uh, save it in where you can easily locate it. And for our CFW helper, just open the link and you can download the file here. And uh, you may just uh, choose the latest version and download this link and again save it anywhere you can easily locate the file so just locate the file and extract it to its folder and in the folder we are going to see these three files and we are going to copy paste or save the game we want to convert in this folder For the game, I choose uh, Castlevania, and uh, we are going to need uh, the PS3 game folder of the dump. So just uh, copy the game, or copy the PS3 game folder, and paste it in the same folder of our CFW helper. Then we can just uh, go ahead and double click, double click on the application. And uh, if the game has an update, it will detect it here. And uh, the system or the program will just uh, go ahead and uh, convert the file. But if the game has uh, no update, you will also know it here and it will just stop. So once the file has uh, been uh, converted, it is now time for us to transfer these two files uh, in our ps3 make sure our ps3 or our external hard drive is formatted to fat32 and we are going to save it in this folder so it is easier to remember where we can or where we need to transfer the file so just copy the file and paste it on this folder and after we have transferred the file we it is now time for us to install it on our ps3 so just plug in our USB on our PS3. You will know that it has been detected if you can see the icon here. Once you see the USB icon, that means that your PS3 has already recognized your USB. Now it's time for us to install our KDW database rebuilder. Actually, I have already installed it here. So let, let us just go ahead and install it for the purpose of this video. And I'll also leave the link of our Multiman in case you don't have Multiman yet. Just install your Multiman and... Uh, we are going to use Multiman to transfer the files that we are going to install. Here on the Multiman, press select and start to be able to get to the browser, to the, to the desktop. Just open a window and open the files that, that we have just converted. And open another window. And we are going to save it uh, inside HDD0 and game. Let us copy these two files and save it here inside HDD0 game. And we'll just have a wait for it to finish. Once the transfer has been completed, we can now leave uh, Multiman and run our KDW um, database rebuild rebuilder.
though uh, it is easier to just dump the games and uh, transfer them to your ps3 uh, compared to injection where you have to go through all that process but uh, once you have installed the game it is so much easier to access your games uh, with injection and uh, personally if uh, the game has or can be injected i always inject them because i find it uh, rather you know, uh, time consuming to have to go all the to have to go to multiman or any game managers just to get to your games but uh, you won't be able to inject PS1 and PS2 games, so you will have uh, to use your game managers for that. So this is it for our video, but before we end the video, I'll just have uh, to make a quick update for our PS3 exploit, or for the new host of our PS3 exploit. Uh, fortunately, uh, the PS3 exploit team has uh, been able to port the CFW tools uh, for us to be able to finally install CFW on our PS3. But only again for only those who are compatible for the CFW. But uh, your PS3 must be on uh, firmware 4.88 or below. So uh, if you want uh, or if your PS3 can uh, be installed with the CFW, make sure that you do not install the latest firmware, which is 4.89. But in case you have already uh, installed the latest firmware, then uh, I'm sure they'll be able to, uh, you know, to put some tools for the CFW for this version for this firmware but for now only 4.88 and below are compatible for cfw on this new host and so again uh, this is it my name is ali and uh, if you found this uh, video helpful please uh, do leave me a thumbs up and uh, please 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 do subscribe and again see you on the next video bye bye The world is changing, yet hope remains in the hearts of the people. We go about our daily lives never knowing the forces. The struggle for supremacy.